Hello, welcome back. Right, this is part two of me trying to sort out the engine, my little Nissan digger. Now, just before I started recording, I thought I'll get all the tools ready. So you may remember in the uh, video before this, there's water in the engine and I was gonna try and squirt it out and see if I can get it to start. But when I was turning the crank manually, there was some uh, something made it stop dead and I thought it was something mechanical I don't know what I thought something must have broken or there's something in the way I don't know just while I was getting the tools ready I got the 27 mil spanner just to turn the crank and uh, I just started to turn the crank and it turns all the way around a bit of water came out the the glow plugs which I guess is good because it means there was water in there but I just cannot figure out what it was that stopped the crank turning it was something dead hard maybe it was somehow water but the glow plugs weren't in so it should have squirted the water out someone made a, a good comment on the uh, the previous video saying that it, maybe it was the hydraulic pump that was stopping the engine turning but i can't quite figure out why it would stop it completely completely dead because when you start the engine with the starter motor it, it just turns the engine over and then it starts if there was something giving that much resistance it simply wouldn't start it would stop dead so i don't know i'm guessing it must have been something to do with water but i can't figure it out anyway so things are looking up so the engine now turns over what i was going to do now as it's turning over uh, drain the oil out which is very oily watery oil in the sump and put fresh oil in so that if it does start or at least if it's cranking with the starter motor it's not going to be pumping water all over the place in, in, you know inside the engine They're, obviously the the oil in the sump has got water in it which is a big problem so i need to drain that out put fresh oil in because if i left that in and tried to start it even if it doesn't start it's going to pump that watery oil around all the the oil ways and all the things that need oil in them will have water in them um so trying to minimize that really because we've got oil in uh, water in there already which uh, we don't want so so i'll do that now i've brought back a longer bar because um last time i just couldn't undo the sump bung it was too tight um so i'm hoping i can get it undone with that a bit easier so we'll do that now we'll drain the oil out fill it with new oil and maybe try and crank it with the starter motor i mean the battery might be flat let's drain the oil out Wow, that is just water, pure water, wow. Well, I guess you saw that in the video, the first, uh, I don't know, four litres or whatever that came out was just water. As we all know, oil floats on top of water, so the bottom of the sump was just full of water, so there's an awful lot of water in there. Um, well, there, there it all is. I don't know what this little plastic container holds, but I would guess it's about 10 litres, and I would guess the engine probably ho holds four or five litres of oil, so nearly half of that is uh, water, so that's not so good. Anyway, so we'll fill it up with oil now. You probably can't hear that, but it's making some really big gurgling noises. I don't know if that's good or bad, because the what if there is something cracked in the head or the block, which I'm guessing there is, then it could well be that the oil is going where there should be water. But we'll see, I'll just let that go down a bit and then uh, put a bit more in. I'm not even sure what this oil is, it's just something that I had. 1540. It wasn't full, there's about four litres in here, I think. Um, but it, even if this isn't enough, it's going to be a lot better than water. It, uh, ooh, got my foot stuck. That's a, well, I'll see if I can squirt out the water out of the um, where the glow plugs were. I'm sinking it. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, I couldn't see that. Only you could see that. Because I was in there turning the key, but sounded good. Sounded like something was happening, and uh, yeah, it's all wet up there. So I guess water did squirt out. So what I'll do now, I'll put the glow plugs back in. We'll see if we can start it. I think. 
<laughs> could be loads of things wrong. So now, I think we'll try and start it and see what happens. Um, obviously there's no water in it, uh, which is good for, for this. Um, but yeah, I'll crank it, see if it starts, and see if it makes some funny noises, and we'll see what happens. So we'll do that now. Well, it was trying to do something. Oh, nearly falling over. Um, it nearly fired up, so what I might do, give it a bit of... I haven't got the easy start, so it'll have to be good old WD-40. Put a bit of that in there, see if that helps it kick into life. All right, let's try that now with some WD-40. Up its hooter. Darn, I don't think... It kind of sounded like it was trying to go, didn't it? But So I think I'll have to take the battery off and charge it up. I mean, come back again. Uh, anyway, I'm waffling on a bit. So, yeah, next time we'll try and get it start and then we'll try and drive it up, up this little slope here to just there. So, I'll see you then. Okie dokie. Bye. <laughs>